our review to uh, the title of the project is Bluetooth controlled car. My team members are Snehit, Mysore Pushottam, Jodu Manjaro and Sairam. Uh, the robotics have been a topic for students. Uh, the, uh, we are using uh, a toy car to fix a circuit and Android phone is used as a transfer device. Uh, so uh, so many toys cars are using wireless or wire communication uh, connection with remotes here is the android phone we will use to transmit the command using its built-in bluetooth to enable to navigate the required location such as forward backward left right turn and the stop uh, here is the objective in, uh, in this project. We will show how to build and upgrade a Bluetooth controlled robot using Arduino. On the other hand, for a Bluetooth communication, we are using uh, simply a smartphone and a simple Android app to control the robotic car. Here, here onwards, my team is done. Hi, this is Snehit. Now I am going to explain about. Uh, methodology. Uh, methodology here we have a block diagram. This block diagram, uh, to explain this block diagram, we are going through an example like our Bluetooth microcontroller. We'll be using four options like right, left, uh, back, and forward. So if we press the right side one, this message signal will be received by the Bluetooth receiver and this will go to the decoder circuit and later it will be uh, going to microcontroller uh, which is Arduino and after that this signal will be going to the DC motors uh, like this the uh, main this is the main methodology of the project how it is going to work and it is explained in the log diagram thank you this is Manjula and I'm going to speak about hardware and software components of our project Arduino ENO it's a basic microcontroller, which you already known about it. It has wide range of users. And L2918 motor driver module. It's a head bridge motor drive, which allows speed and direction control of two DC motors at the same time. The module can drive DC motors that has voltage between 5 to 35 volt with peak current up to 2 ampere. And HC05 Bluetooth module. It is designed for transparent wireless serial communication setup and it consumes very less uh, power. Robot chassis. We are using a toy car for this. Four, four, five volt uh, geared motor. It basically consumes five voltage and uh, helps in high torque output, speed reduction. And the rest of the fiber, what we already known about it, connecting wires, battery holder, power supply, Android phone, which consists of Bluetooth control app. Thank you. I am Sairam. I am here to complete the rest of the presentation. Since we have chosen the topic of project Bluetooth controlled car, which does not have any kind of simulation involved. It is fully based on the hardware components, but unfortunately, the pandemic situation tripped us. It was locked down for literally five months. We couldn't have any opportunity to purchase the components. But there are still some models we can cover it on simulation, and here I am to show it. If suppose we had all the components we needed for this project, from Arduino IDE, we can deploy the code directly to the Arduino, which will cover the most of the part of the project. For simulation, we are using Proteus 7, in which it is impossible to interface on Bluetooth module with an Android mobile, since Proteus does not share any communication ports with the computer. The fact we needed a Bluetooth module to transmit a signal from mobile to robot, if we can't interface the Bluetooth module to the mobile in simulation, there is no use of an Arduino, because the role of the Arduino is just calling the respective function for the moment. In simultaneously, if we press the key in the mobile. In code, let me show the code. Here is a code for the Arduino, which we will deploy if we add the components. In the code, we can see that the 
i n 1 i n 2 i n 3 are the pins which are defining and it is connected to the 12 11 and 10 9 respectively we can see it here and we also define the serial pins of transmission and receiver pin in the bluetooth module and in this setup setup module we can see that we are defining that these pins are output which is connected to the motor driver IN1, IN2 and IN3 are this are the in this loop module it is basically a monitoring code which will monitor if any signal is coming from the Android to Bluetooth module and it will be stored to the BT VAR which is a variable in, ca in, in case of uh, Bluetooth control card we have uh, five operations which is moving forward, moving backward, moving to the left and moving to the right and staying stationary is also counted as a position. So, so we have the five cases here. We run the five cases in the switch module. So we have defined a separate function for every moment. So there is a function for forward, reverse, left and right and also for the stationary which is top robot. So for if it is if the bit value is mentioned in forward, the code will call the forward function which, which will write the respective logic values for the pins in the motor driver. For the forward case, it is it is like I, I, IN1 will be I, I2, yeah, I, IN2 will be low, IN3 will be high, IN4 will be low. So in the simulation, we can see so this is the circuit which I have made. This is the L2 9810 motor driver and these are the four motors. So here the, the robot is in the position of uh, facing north. If suppose this is north, the vertical axis is north. So the robot is about to move in the north position. So these motors are faced on upward direction because we couldn't find any motors. So this push, these motors are in the facing upward direction so for the forward forward function we have the uh, in is i i2 is low and in3 is high and in4 is low so if suppose we simulate this in the proteus so this is in1 which is high and in2 should be low so it is zero and in3 should be high so in this configuration the robot will move in the north which is vertical direction so if if we can imagine that the if the motors are spinning with motors are facing on the uh, upward direction if we tilt it to the left it will make the robot to move in the forward direction if suppose we consider it for the left reverse if we suppose consider for the reverse IN1 is low, I2, IN2 is high, IN3 is low and IN4 is high. So if we simulate it in this Proteus, this one is low, this one is high and this one is low and this one is high. If we can imagine in the tilted version of the motors, we can see that the robot will be moving in the vertical, negative vertical direction which is south. So likewise we have all the functions for left and right. For the left, it is IN1 is low, I2, IN2 is low, and IN3 alone is high. So if we simulate it here, so only IN3 is high. So only IN3 is high. So we can see the right side part of the mo motors are spinning to the forward but the left side motors are in the stationary which is not spinning so the inertia of the left side of the robot will be high so it won't move and the right side part of the robot wants to move so it creates a turn to the left which which will make it to the left so likewise we also have it for the right in which it will be rotating yeah in this part it will turn to the right if the robot wants to stop 
the the IN one, IN two, IN three pin should be in uh, logic zero. So I have included the code in the GitHub. Since the code is very large, we can't include it in the PPT. Luckily, we got the we got all the components required for the project, and we have tested it in many different ways, and finally got the output as expected. And here is the short clip of the robot working.